Hi guys, in this HackerRank coding challenge, we are going to practice using the bitwise XOR operator to perform binary operation. And here we are going to receive an array of integers. And inside that array, every number is going to be repeated twice, except for one. So our goal here is to find the unique elements. I've switched back to the full screen view. And the key to find the unique elements is first to sort the vector, then loop through the vector, because here we are dealing with a dynamic array, a vector of integers. And then as we loop through, we want to use the bitwise XOR operator to compare two numbers. If they are the same, then we are going to receive zero, which means false, because they are not different. But if they are different, then we're going to receive true. So if you look at my solution here, I have this function called lonely integer. It takes a vector of integers by uh, reference as a parameter. It's called A. And then I have this sort function from C++. And I'm sorting my vector from the beginning to the end. So this is going to return me the vector sorted in ascending order. Once I have that, I want to have an I integer variable. I'm setting it to zero, and I'm going to use that to loop through my array. So I have two conditions here. I need both of them to evaluate to true so that I can keep looping through the array to find the unique elements. So the first condition is this one. So long as i is within the boundaries of my vector, so I have i is less than or equal to a dot size minus one. And the second condition is this one here. I'm checking if the integer is different from the one just after it. So if they are the same, this is going to return me a zero, which means false. So I have to negate that with this exclamation mark here so that this returns me true if the numbers are identical because they are duplicates. All right, so here is an example I want to make. Let's say we have 31 numbers here, 31 items. We're going to check this with this one. This is what you see here, AI, and we compare it with AI plus one. But after we compare these two, there is no point jumping to this one. So we need to increment i by two. So we will check this with the next one, which is the next element here. And then when we are done, we can skip straight to this element here and compare it with the next one, the one just after it. And then we'll skip to this one and then this one and so on. So that is why you can see here, I have i plus equals two, meaning I'm incrementing the counts or the value of i by two. Once this condition fails to evaluate to true, or we reach the end, for instance, of our array, then we know that we found our unique elements. In this case, I can simply use a CR statement to display that element and return it as well, because the return data type of my function is an int. So I need to make sure that I return these unique elements. We just pass test case zero, one, and two. And let's submit this code. And we've also passed all the test cases. So if you're wondering how many times we are going to run through our vector, how many times this while loop is going to run, we can just have a bit of debugging code. So let me add a count variable that I'm going to initialize to zero. And anytime this while loop runs, I'm going to increment my count variable by one. And then I'm going to have this statement saying while loop run count number of times. All right, and then now I'm going to take that, um, that sample array here. It has 31 elements. I'm going to check this because I want to test my code against some custom inputs. But before I do that, I need to add the number of elements that my array contains. So now let me run this code here. And you can see the while loop run 15 times. And we also found our unique element, which is 16, because 16 appears only once. So this code doesn't only work, but this algorithm will run n divided by two times. So if we have like 31 elements, it's the floor of n divided by two. We can see it's a pretty efficient algorithm and it works as well. But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys to play around and come up with your own solutions if you want. Uh, for now, I'm going to end this video. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, drop a comment if you have any questions, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.